3D printing. You can print lots of weird little things that you really can't buy from a store. It's one of the main reasons you would even consider owning a 3D printer other than the fact that you are a lonely and very specific kind of nerd. But what on earth would you 3D print besides these marvelous fidget spinners? Well, believe it or not, you can actually print useful things that improve your daily life and you can make as specific a thing as you need because you know amazon don't got everything they, they got most things let's be real but you can print a lot of stuff that can actually fit really specifically into your life that just doesn't exist otherwise so here is a list of 10 of those things that i use in my everyday life that make my life better and hopefully they can make your life better as well but no promises you really just need therapy first up it's a knife. This is a remix of the classic HP utility knife. It's a little knife contraption, stupid easy print, holds a knife blade. I broke this one, don't ask any questions. And it fits a standard box cutter blade and you can keep it secure in there. I like this particular remix because it incorporates a few safety features. It kind of latches the blade into place so that it won't come out in your pocket. And then when it's extended, it won't like slide back and you won't have a knife blade in a place you weren't expecting. These things are as useful as a regular old box cutter, except they're a heck of a lot smaller. I personally used a version of this print. I used to work at a co-op where I needed to open cardboard boxes all day, every day. And this was what I used to open them, not because I needed to, but because I had just gotten a new 3D printer and I thought it would be pretty fun to 3D print a tool I used every day. But I used mine for months and months on end and I still probably have it kicking around here somewhere, but this one is a slightly improved model. So I would recommend you print this one. You can put a little lanyard down in here like I did back in the day. You're gonna wanna print this in something with good layer adhesion. You don't want your blade accidentally slicing through the edges of your print, though I never had an issue with that. This is printed in Hyper PLA from Ujoy Bio 3D, as well as some uh, Overture uh, Super PLA Plus. Number two is gonna be uh, this thing. This is a paper towel holder. I use this thing legitimately every single day, and it's the inspiration for this list because I was changing out the paper towel roll and I'm like, oh, hey, that is 3D printed, isn't it? it it's a really old, simple print. It's not exactly the fanciest print because I printed this thing on a, and what was the name of our first 3D printer? The Monoprice, a Monoprice Select Mini, and uh, yeah, not even a fancy 3D printer. And this thing is stupid useful. And well, I mean, you, you, you do that. It's meant to hook onto the bottom of like wire racks in your cabinet, but I'm living that pegboard life right now. So it's up here on the pegboard with all of my spatulas and stuff. And yeah, literally use it every gosh darn day. Pardon my French. And speaking of pegboard and pegboard related accessories, here's my defunct 3D printing nook. We have these fantastic spool holders. These specific ones are, you can tell I just printed them in whatever PETG I had laying around, but they hook into pegboards and then you can literally amass yourself a wall of spools. You don't have to go fiddling around with stacks of spools, even though I still kind of do that. There's a plethora of spool holders, but I highly recommend it. They get your spools off the ground and onto your walls. And that way, not only are they not in your way and you're not tripping over towers of spools, when your friends and family come over, they're like, Oh, hey, what's that? And then you get to talk to them about 3D printing until they leave. Next up is gonna be this contraption. This is a thing to make your non-resealable bags resealable, and it, it's then very easy to access the contents within. It's specifically made uh, for coffee, and well, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I have had my coffee today, and I used this thing to pour out my beans. Just my, my camera here. Here's how it works, you get yourself a bag of coffee or whatever, basically anything that can fit through there, and you cut off the top, then you put your little nozzle here, down in there, and you clamp it around like that. There you have it. And this like has some grooves in it that really like clamp down your things, and then you have a little screw cap here to tighten it down onto your bag. Hold your beans in place, and then come the morning time, you can spill the beans. Why did I do that? Next up we have 
the Bidon, which is a, uh, it's a French designer who made a container that is designed to fit inside of a bicycle water bottle holder, and I have found them to be, number one, an extremely satisfying 3D print to print. It is just, like, a delightful, like, object. This thing is, like, the epitome of well-designed. It's just, like, it's so damn satisfying. It fits together so well. It's, oh, man, it's just, it's the spice, it's the juice, it's the chutzpah. I love it. Now, this is not what they typically look like. I did try to get creative, and I made this one an unauthorized McDonald's collab. Um, for reasons, I'll be honest, I don't truly understand myself. Uh, strange branding aside, this thing is just, it's such a good print, man. Everything fits together so well, and it's the, the epitome of if you know, you know. If you have printed one of these for yourself, and you hold it in your hands, you're just like, ooh, feels good, man. I customized this one, uh, importantly, by putting a little hole in there, and then I put a little paracord through the end so I can actually carry it around, because I don't really use this on my bike. Instead, I like to pop this thing in or on my backpack and I use it to carry like little things that would otherwise get crushed by just being thrown into your backpack. This is what I use uh, usually for like glasses or something if I'm at a party. I'll bring one of these, I'll chuck my glasses in there, and then at the end of the night I'll pull my glasses out and I'll put them on, I'll put my contacts in here, and then I can fall asleep on the couch without worrying about getting sticky eyes. But hey, now we got ourselves a little lanyard here. What are we gonna use to attach that lanyard to other stuff? Well, buckaroo. 3D print yourself a carabiner. This is probably like my favorite thing on these lists. It's entirely 3D printed. This is an improved version of the one that I have uh, classically always done. And it's just hella useful. I have used these literally to hang like a water bottle or something off of my backpack for years, printed in the cheapest PLA money can buy, and they have always stood the test of time. This model is an even further improved version of whatever that one was. They print out in two separate parts. It's a lot of fun to mix and match the colors. And then you just kind of snap them together. And then off to the races, you got yourself a carabiner. They're made out of plastic, so obviously don't go rock climbing in these. But let's be real, you weren't rock climbing in your other ones either. You just needed to hang your water bottle off of your backpack. These get the job done in fantastic fashion and you can make them all sorts of different colors. 10 out of 10, I have way too many of these and I will make many more. Next up we have pet food scoops. This one's a one cup scoop, this one's a quarter cup scoop. And you might be wondering why would you 3D print something as simple as a scoop? Well, if you have pets and if you're a millennial like me, you will know that pets are way cheaper than children. It is because they have really specific food measurement requirements and it's a hell of a lot easier to just print a scoop that is the exact size you need. They don't need to be these ones. You can just literally search for a scoop that's the specific measurement that your pet food meal requires. And if they change foods, if they suddenly develop, I don't know, a chicken allergy, Bowie, you can print a new scoop to adhere to their different dietary needs. And it's just way, way easier and more intuitive to just scoop it out and you have exactly as much as you need than getting the old Pyrex out and going in there, trying to measure at five in the morning whether or not you have a quarter cup in there or you're making your dog fat. These things are the thing to go with. What are you looking at? Next up, we got something that's super utilitarian. It is these handles. They're just damn good handles. I printed these in PLA Professional from Overture. Yeah, Overture PLA Professional. I don't know what to tell you. They're handles. You can put a screw in the side and attach a beefy, strong handle to uh, whatever you need a handle for. I use them all the time to hold up this thing. This has literally been supporting the weight of this entire like 20, 30, 40 pound table thing that I made like a year ago and it's holding up fine. Not even flexing, PLA professional, good stuff, good handle, good design. It works really well. That, that, that's it for that one. Next up we have this uh, coffee mug holder thing that is designed to be mounted off of the edge of a desk or a table or what have you. I use this thing every day when I sit down at my computer to hold my cup of morning brown. And it, uh, you know, you don't need to worry about a coaster. You don't need to worry about having a spot cleared off on your desk. You just clamp the sucker to the side, hold your mug, and it keeps it out of the way, but also keeps it 
right next to you so you can stay caffeinated. You don't need to print this model. In fact, I, I don't know if I would recommend you do. I had to print this little TPU uh, kind of insert to go into the bottom there. I designed that from scratch myself like a smart person because uh, it was just kind of weird to have just a straight plastic one. So there are plenty of designs that do this exact same thing out there, but I'll have this one and some ones I like linked down below as well as everything else that I'm talking about today. But yeah, coffee mug holder, keep it off your desk. And lastly, we have this, the humble one tripper grocery bag holder. You can tell that I don't really care what I printed these in and I didn't care about the print quality at all because these are purely utilitarian. They're just handles. You can print them in whatever rigid material you want and they're plenty strong and you hook the handles of your grocery bags into them, but they're really useful and you can, uh, you know, carry a bunch of groceries. I will say you do want at least two of these to distribute the weight because you can carry a lot of stuff in one hand, but then you're kind of like leaning over to one side and it becomes a chore and then you're hanging it down in front of you and you're like kind of swinging it in front of you like a dumbbell. Eh, you don't want to do that. Get two of them, put one in each hand, evenly distribute your groceries and uh, Bob's your uncle, you can carry all of your groceries in one trip up two flights of stairs to your 700 square foot apartment on the top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere, New Jersey. Or, or, um, yeah, that might be a me thing. And as a special reward for those of you that stuck around to the end, I have a secret 11th thing in this list. It's not really a specific thing so much as a category, but it is TPU stuff in general. This is a uh, just like a, a roller for my bad left foot, but I have found TPU to be an extremely useful thing to print with. Let me show you. When I built this table I was showing you earlier, these caster wheels were the wrong size for the things I was using for the legs. I 3D printed TPU adapters. They've held up really well. TPU is extremely tough and extremely versatile. And if you can find a way around the flexibility, it'll hold anything together. Look at this. It's a little TPU handbag. It, it didn't really print too well, but you know, you can make a bag. Bags are cool. Basically what I'm saying is when in doubt, TPU has more often than not been the thing to come to my rescue in terms of durability and versatility. And I have a specific recommendation for filament because not all TPUs are equal. It's this black stuff. And I actually use this stuff so much, I just got myself a new roll. It is Pryline black TPU. I don't think it has to be black, but the reason I like this stuff so much because even though it is TPU and it is flexible, it is actually surprisingly rigid as far as TPUs go. I have not had a problem and I am weird. I have very few 3D printing problems that other people seem to have. I don't know what I'm doing right because I am definitely doing a lot of things wrong, but I have never had a problem feeding this through a non-direct drive 3D printer, right? It worked fine on my Prusa Mini. It works fantastically on my Bamboo Lab. I, no complaints, 10 out of 10 filament that I would recommend everyone has in their filament arsenal. And that's it. That's the that's the list. 10 fun and useful 3D printable things, 10, 10 and a half, 3D printable things that I truly use all the time in my regular, normal human life. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. If you have any other ideas for 3D prints that I could try out, leave them in the comments down below. And if you've used any of these, let me know your experience because yeah, guys, get this, human beings are different and your experience might be different than mine. So let me know how you fare if you've printed these or if you plan on printing any of these. And that's it. Stay beautiful and we'll see you next time.